Hi everyone, I'm Miss Hu, your physics teacher. And in this video, we're going to go through a simple practical to study moments. So, what we have over here is a half meter rule. You can use a meter rule if you want to, but for the purposes of this video, we're just using a short one. And of course, you're going to need something that acts as a fulcrum or a pivot. In this case, we're using a triangular wooden block. Now, how we use this pivot is, of course, place it on a table. And this half meter rule is going to act as the plane where we're going to try to balance things on. Now, of course, if you are really good at being able to balance stuff, if you get the position just right, you'll be able to balance the meter rule perfectly. I'm not so good at this. You're probably going to do a better job than me. But yeah, in a perfect situation, you should be able to get the half meter rule perfectly balanced. Okay, not so good. Um, but you get the idea, of course. Now, if the half meter rule or the meter rule that you use is uniform, meaning that the weight distribution is equal and uniform throughout the rule, if you place the half meter rule or the meter rule exactly in the middle, where the center of mass is, you'll find that it should be able to balance perfectly. Which means that for this particular meter rule, because it's 50 centimeters long, if you place it at the 25 centimeter mark, you'll find that it should be balanced. Now, what are moments? Moments are the turning effects of the forces, where if we apply a force onto a system, the system rotates. So this would be a very simple practical to study moments. So say we place a force on this side of the meter rule, what you'll find is that this meter rule will move downwards on the left hand side or rotate around the pivot like this. Now a rotation is not upwards or downwards, rotation is either clockwise or anti-clockwise. And to determine the direction of rotation, you need to observe how the weight or the force causes the system to rotate around the pivot. So if let's say this is where the pivot point is and this is where the meter rule is, and I place the force on this end of the meter rule, you'll find that the meter rule will rotate in this direction. So from your view, this is anti-clockwise. Now, if we place the weight on the other end of the meter rule, you'll find that the meter rule will rotate this direction, or from your viewpoint, clockwise. So when we talk about moments, we need to talk about its direction in terms of clockwise and anti-clockwise. So now let's talk about a practical to try to balance the moments. So we've got a pivot here. I'm going to place the pivot in the center of the half meter rule. And I've got two weights that are labeled 2 newton this time. So if we place them on opposite ends, if you can get them to be balanced perfectly, you'll find then a meter rule would be able to balance. Now, in reality, it's quite difficult. So sometimes you can just about get it to balance and then it goes off a little bit. And that's perfectly normal because the thing is for the system to be completely balanced, the pivot must be exactly under the center of gravity of the entire system. A little bit off and it will be unbalanced already. So unless you're really good and really perfect at this, it's a little bit difficult to try to get it perfectly balanced. So what we normally try to do is we will adjust and see if we can just about get it to balance. If it's in the air for just you know a short period of time, close enough. Sometimes what you need to do is you just adjust it and see, okay, it goes on one side, a little bit of adjustment, like slight, like less than one millimeter and it goes on the other side. Well, that kind of shows that the center of the pivot is between those two points. So close enough. Yeah, almost. So that's if we place the weight on the opposite ends with the pivot in the center. Now, moments, if you recall, is force times perpendicular distance. So if we were to shift the pivot somewhere else instead, 
obviously, it's not going to be balanced because first of all, these two weights are not at equal distances from the pivot and secondly, the weight of the uniform meter rule also affects the moment. What do I mean by that last sentence? You see how, in this case, if we place a pivot away from the center, it's not balanced for sure. In fact, if I try to balance it on my finger, it will fall anyway. And the reason why it won't stay balanced as compared to the center is because now if we place the meter rule over our finger right at the middle, remember our finger is where the center of mass is, that's where the meter rule will be balanced. But if we place it a little bit off to the side, the weight of the meter rule is going to pull it down this way, causing the meter rule to rotate and therefore fall. So if we were to place the pivot at a position on the meter rule slightly off, obviously, it's not going to be balanced. Does that mean you can't balance it at all? Well, you can still get other values of the forces, for example. So just to give you an idea, let's put this back in the center. And this time, I've got 2 to Newton and 1 for Newton. And just to show how this can be balanced, we're going to try to balance 1 to Newton force and 1 for Newton force. Can it still be balanced? Well, if you try to place them at exact equal distances, obviously not. But if we were to try to adjust the distance between the weights and the pivot, you might be able to get it balanced. So you can see even in this situation, hey, look, the 2 Newton weight looks heavier than the 4 Newton weight. It's not that it's heavier, it's because the moment on this side is greater, causing the meter rule to move down on the right hand end of the meter rule. So if we could adjust it somehow so that it could be just about balanced, it's actually possible. So what this tells us is that a moment depends on the force and the distance of the force from the pivot. So what this shows us is that if you have a heavier weight and you want to try to balance it with a lighter weight, the heavier weight needs to be nearer the pivot compared to the lighter weight. What if the pivot was not in the center? Can you still balance it? Well, why not? Just about! Okay. Yeah. So it is possible. Whichever the case is, when you are studying moments, do try to adjust the position of the heavy weights and the light weights from the pivot, even try placing the pivot at different positions on a meter rule, just to see how to balance different weights and observe how the distance should be for different values of weight. So I hope you found this video helpful and educational. Don't forget to have fun.